This is May's Book 2, Daughter of Darkness, Chapter 8, Part 1. And Happy New Year. I had not forgotten the true pale blue with the sad green eyes. How could I forget such a color, such a life, such a sadness, such a girl, such a face? Inside the pale blue shoe and hidden by laces was a deep purple and blue signifying nothing and soon to dissolve if I could help it along. An oak tree got vengeance for long ago having been ripped from its roots and carved mercilessly, tempered and treated and feeling forlorn, fit with a hinge and swung until flush, securing a room in this, the formerly plush. Her injury turned out to be the best thing Kel had going, for all the pain a black sheep feels got sheared away into the deep purple and blue, which hurt like a mother, but so what? The other hurt doesn't hurt anymore. I wanted to help her any way I could, Kel, in her room, in that lakeside disaster, been thumbed through the holy Rolodex and altogether missed. She with a handful of Oxycontin in her head, doctor shopping around till she found one who would prescribe more, or straight to the streets from the office door if no one put out. Of course, they had their licenses on the line. Can't you see that I need, she would ask without asking, not realizing in her days she forgot to speak. They would offer her some non-narcotic solution, perhaps some Neurontin to take off the edge, or really maybe Abilify, an antipsychotic, because she fit the diagnostic criteria. What they were really witnessing was opiate withdrawal. She was crawling out of her skin, aching, wet with sweat, then dry, but why? Why was she on pills? She became reclusive, boosted by the hot engines of dopamine off into the stratosphere about 30 miles from the earth. You just don't feel like you can relate.